Wolf here with another CD review and this time looking at probably one of the more rare CDs that I've reviewed because I actually don't own this one. I got this one from the music library at my college. My college is a, has a music library because there's a portion of it that is like a music school in particular. But I want to use this first part of the video here to sort of encourage people to go to the library which might sound kind of weird and also seems to be something that I feel like at least I have heard a whole bunch throughout really just like my whole life I guess to, to some extent because like people always suggest to go to the library for stuff but I feel like nobody ever actually does and I think a big portion of that is still sort of the view of the library as like oh they have books and who knows how to read anymore am I right but seriously like I, I think a lot of people sort of forget that libraries tend to have really every sort of media actually like I mean for example I was able to get this CD from my college's library and I know that like I've seen other libraries in the past that have, and I, I think even my college one does this, they have, along with music stuff and books, they have DVDs, Blu-rays, multiple forms of media that you can check out and, well, check out literally and, like, actually take a look at. And some libraries, I think, even have video games, so I guess that, th like, kind of fits in with some other stuff on the channel. But yeah, like I said, got this from the library. So this is Blue Blanc World. It's actually a CD that came with a magazine. According to the back and the my school's library website, it was, it, it came with issue 75 of the Songlines magazine, which I believe is like a British magazine for music, although this CD seems to pretty much focus on French artists, because on the back it has like a bunch of stuff about French music and things, but we'll get to that in a minute. So, the way that I actually came across this CD was I was just sort of looking at the catalog for the music library at my college because I had a project that I needed to do and I had gone there and I realized, oh wow, they have CDs also. So I looked through the catalog online and I was just kind of typing in names of different artists that I knew and I had done like other reviews on. And I had actually just, I think, uploaded the Caravan Palace review the night before or something. I had just like listened to a Caravan Palace song or whatever. So I typed in Caravan Palace and they were actually like one of the few artists that popped up for something. And this was the only thing that they popped up on. And it's because they contributed a track to this because it's a compilation album. They contributed Susie. So... That's, I was like, wow, that's interesting to see that they're on this compilation album. And yeah, so that's, we're, we're gonna take a look at it today in the review. So anyway, like I said, Blue Blanc World. Let's talk about the art on, you know, first, because always that's, that's how we start these. I can't talk tonight, man. So on the cover, you have a bunch of like geometric shapes and then down the bottom right, Blue Blanc World. Now something to keep in mind throughout this review and just in general with the CD is that since it's a compilation album, it definitely should and does break the like traditions of normal stuff that I say is important in an album, like having artist name and stuff like that and all sorts of stuff because it, it you know, it has a bunch of different artists on it. So also having sort of just like good looking but generic kind of cover art on the front I think works really well because it doesn't necessarily overemphasize any specific sort of music that's on it because the music is kind of varying like in just form really. So I think that the geometric shapes on the front is good, and it also, it, it looks good and it still catches your eye. Uh, and then up in the top left, you guys can see the, the library's identifier thing on there. So yeah, now since this is an envelope, there's not really a side to look at, so just straight on to the back with the track list. There's, there's a lot of info on the back, which I think is good because it doesn't take up any of the real estate of the front side of it because it just like this cd can't really be stored on its side easily because there's not really a side to it because it's so thin so it's probably stored on the front that means that it's pretty important to like keep the front looking good and like i said it does look good because it's simple and tells you the compilation name so on the back is where a lot of the info is so up at the top you see blue blanc world again and also another one of those cd identifier things it says World music produced in French, so, French, F France, there we go. So it's, yeah, it tells you, I guess, kind of like where it came from, like who it went through. It tells you that it was issued with the Songlines magazine, issue 75, which also I was kind of tempted to try to check out the issue 75 of Songlines along with the CD to like put pictures of it or whatever, but the way my library had it set up, it seemed like they would have given me like five copies of Songlines at once to check out because it's a magazine, so I didn't really 
I didn't mess with that, but yeah, so this came with, with that issue of that magazine. And then the track list is interesting because a lot of track lists actually have, you know, they have the song name and then any features, like if anybody else is on the track, and then song time, like the, the length of the song. Whereas this album does artist first, then song, then track length. So like, I think that's, I honestly, I think that's kind of a weird decision because I feel like it would make more sense to have song name and then artist still, but nonetheless, but you guys can see that with, like I said, the, the thing that I saw on this album, Caravan Palace, track six, it's Caravan Palace on the left, then Susie, then track length. So that's kind of a weird decision. That's probably the only thing about the art that I don't really understand why they did it that way. But yeah, it is good that they have all that. They also have information on the label. The label is listed in parentheses after all of the songs. And I kind of knew that because I knew that Caravan Palace was, at least at this time, I don't know if they still are, but I knew that they were Café de, Cafe de la Dance. I just, I don't speak French. So all the songs and everything down at the bottom, there's a whole bunch of info about like different organizations that seems like this went through and also says that, in fact, the people who made these songs did get paid to be on this compilation. So that's good. Don't pirate music pretty much is kind of, I think, what that almost <laughs> kind of inadvertently says, which is true. Don't pirate music. So, yeah, I guess that's really it for- oh wait, I, well we need to look at the actual CD itself. So, pulling the CD out of the sleeve, you'll see that it pretty much does the same pattern sort of thing that it did on the front. It has a bunch of geometric shapes and stuff all around it. In the center, I might scribble it out in the picture because it says the name of my college on there. But yeah, on up at the top, it says pretty much the same thing about where, like, world music produced wherever in, in that it said on the back of the sleeve. Has also all the organizations listed again down below the center of it. So the artwork I think is good that it's consistent like that, and like I said, I really think that it was a good idea for them to do sort of a generic artwork because it doesn't overemphasize or de-emphasize any of the types of music that are on this. So I guess on to the actual music, there's a whole bunch of artists on here. As you guys can see, this album has 17 tracks and it is an hour and 10 minutes long, which means it, it's it's pretty long album. I don't really know who would sit down in one sitting and listen to the entire thing, but I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, I mean, normally magazines get like sent to you through the mail, but if like you went out and bought a magazine, this is definitely the type of thing that you would pop into your car on the way back home before you read the magazine. It, it really, I guess it actually, overall, I would kind of consider this like a driving compilation because it all works that way. Like you can sit down and listen to it really closely, but it also still sounds pretty good if you're sort of zoned out. So there's that. Now as for all the music, I, I don't really, like, I can't really go through, don't have the time to go through every single track individually, but overall they all sounded really, really good. I felt like if you know Caravan Palace and you know that their music is really good quality, all of the other songs on this album are pretty equivalent to Caravan Palace's songs in terms of quality. Style, on the other hand, is a different story. There, there are songs that are similar in style to each other, but there is definitely differing styles and focuses like caravan palace like i said they're kind of the main go-to that i keep going back to on this album because they're probably the most well-known artist on this or well group not artist because more than one person but anyway probably the most well-known group on this album their music is you know electro swing it's a little bit more fast paced there's some bass and stuff to it and there's a couple other songs that are like that on here but not very many there's definitely some slower songs there's definitely some heavier songs it's what a compilation should be. It, it shows you a whole bunch of different artists and how they sound. It also seems to have at least three languages in like in the music. I've I think I heard songs. I know I heard songs in English and I know I heard songs in French. I believe I heard songs in Spanish and I think I heard songs in even more languages. But those are really the only three that I could truly distinguish and tell. Yeah, that's what that is. So yeah, I mean, overall, I guess that's really all there is to say. It's really kind of hard to review a compilation album because there's so many different things in it. But I, I gotta say that, like, I think that this album, all of the songs sound very good, even though they all kind of are varying things. They have different themes and, like, sort of styles about them. And I think whoever decided to put them in this order actually did a pretty good job too because the songs, they don't jump from like one extreme to the other very much. Although I will say there are times where some of the songs sound really similar and so like if you're zoned out you might not even realize it's a different song. Which having a little bit more of a 
hard turn between songs might have helped to sort of eliminate that because it would catch your attention a little bit more. But nonetheless, I think that overall it's a pretty good track choice of how to put them in. I mean, I can't really suggest for anybody to buy this because you can't really buy it, honestly. I mean, like I said, I don't even own this. You might be able to find it on like eBay or something. It's it's kind of an oddly specific thing. It's sort of like when I reviewed that Zebulon Crawl album a while ago and I kind of pointed out how I only knew that there were two copies in existence because I don't believe it was actually ever physically distributed. This one being exclusive to a magazine kind of doubled us down on that idea of like, I don't know if you can actually buy this anywhere. You might be able to get it at your library, like I did. And I mean, if you subscribe to Songlines, I don't know if they still send CDs, but I'm sure they still do something with music samplers somehow. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I mean, if you can find a way to listen to it, or if you just go and look at all the songs individually, because you guys will have seen the track list, I, I'd suggest it. It's, it's pretty good. It's a good compilation. Like I said, it is a little bit long, so I don't know if you're necessarily going to want to sit down and like listen to it the whole way through like I did. But like I said, really good like driving music, I guess. So if you do get your hands on a copy of it, save it for when you're going to go on an hour long drive somewhere and listen to it then, because I think that would probably be the prime way to listen to this album. But anyway, yeah, so that's that's pretty much the the review, I suppose. More, lots more reviews on the way. I have so many CDs to review, it's kind of scary, actually. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in future videos, and bye bye